Well, good morning. It's Cruise Man. I'm on I-35 South, uh, heading to Bryan, Texas. I'm actually on my way to meet with uh, John Conley at Wingsoft. Uh, my first road trip uh, last week to Midland convinced me that the 2018 Goldwing seat is not good enough for long distance touring. So uh, I had Wingsoft rebuild my seat on my 2007 Goldwing and uh, did a great job on it. So I'm gonna go down and meet with John in Bryan, Texas and uh, see if he can do something to make this 2018 seat a little more comfortable. It's about six o'clock in the morning here and of course the traffic is insane trying to get outside of the city limits of Dallas. I'm actually coming in sort of into downtown Dallas now. And uh, I guess the older I get, the less I like this freeway traffic. Um, but I just thought I'd let you know where I'm headed. I've got a bunch of other stuff to update you on. I will uh, check in with you here in a little bit down the road once the sun comes up. And uh, got some interesting stories to tell you. Well, I'm on my way down I-35, and this is my first chance to try out the new Rivco Aero Pegs. I'm not sure if you can see. I'm gonna try to get the camera where you can kind of see I'm stretched out. And I gotta tell you, they're pretty damn comfortable. Uh, The actual uh, middle setting, uh, the standard uh, installation, is just perfect for me, and I'm 6'2 with a 33-inch inseam, and I those are that's perfect. In fact, uh, you know, I probably could even pull them in an inch and a half, and they'd still be okay. But uh, this is the way to tour on the 2018 Goldwing. These Aero pegs are super high quality. Uh, super strong, made from billet aluminum, just a really, really well-engineered, high-quality product, and uh, this is my first chance to try them, and I'm very, very impressed. Good job, Rivco. But there's a lot of other cool stuff uh, coming up on uh, my YouTube channel this uh, next few days. In fact, Maybe a good time to remind you, if you uh, like what we do on our channel, please take a moment to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click on that little bell icon, uh, you'll get notifications every time I post a new video. I try to post two or three a week. Just depends on the week. But uh, anyway, coming up very soon on uh, our YouTube channel, I'm going to have a video showing you a very cool new product that I found. Uh, that's going to help me keep this 2018 Goldwing shiny and looking like new. It's a pretty revolutionary uh, product, and uh, I think you're going to be uh, excited to see that. Hopefully, by the time this Moto Vlog is out, that video will also be out. Also, by the time I put this Moto Vlog up, I should have my Rivco AeroPeg installation video online. And I'm actually using the Rivco uh, Aero Pegs on this trip. You can see them down there. Maybe you can see them. They're extended. I'm still working on my maintenance videos for the 2018 Goldwing. Um, it's a ton, a ton of work, I'm telling you right now. But I think you're going to like it when they come out. And I don't think I'm going to get them out by the end of summer. I mean, they're just it's just taking... There's a lot more to it than there was on the previous model Goldwing. Also, I want to remind you, don't forget to put your comments down below. You know, let me know what you think of the videos. Uh, if you have any ideas for other videos we can do, uh, let me know. I know one thing I learned today. I've got to come up with a better way of mounting my microphone inside my helmet. I've been using gaffer tape. And uh, the surface that I'm trying to stick it to on the inside of this chin bar, it must be too slick or something. 
it just the, the gaffer tape just won't hold it just it lets go sometimes i find my microphone dangling out in the wind so i've got to come up with a better uh technique for mounting this microphone in fact i'll i think what i'll do is i'll show you the rig that i've got for my motor vlogging in case any of you are interested i'll be motor vlogging uh, on my ride to wingding which is coming up at the end of august of course i'll do some others before that and I uh, also got my mileage results from my trip to Midland and back. And I used, uh, I think I mentioned last time, I used tour mode on the way to Midland. I used econ mode on the way home. And I definitely got better mileage on the return trip home. But I can't verify that it was because of econ mode. I did have less wind on the way home. So it could be part partly because of that. But... The mileage on the return trip home, and I'll put the numbers up so you can see them on the motor vlog because I don't have them memorized, but it seems like I got about a 3.75% increase in mileage uh, over my 2012. And while that's good, uh, it's really not that significant. Uh, I, was, I was expecting a little more. In fact, my gas mileage on the highway with this 2018 isn't that much better than what I get around town. You know, I'm getting 43, 44 miles to the gallon around town. And maybe 45, 46 on the highway. I would have thought it'd be a lot better than that. Now, and I don't drive fast. Like right now, I'm going 60 miles an hour. Usually I drive 60, 65 miles an hour. I don't zip down the highway at 80 miles an hour like a lot of guys do. It's Wednesday morning. It's about 6.45. I've been on the highway now oh, about an hour and a half. And uh, on my new modified seat from Bike Solutions, I rode the bike down to Bryan College Station yesterday, met with John, the owner of the company, and I uh, had a chance to interview him, and uh, what a great video uh, will be. Uh, it should be on uh, YouTube channel by the time this motor vlog is out. I highly encourage that you uh, you to watch it because it's very interesting. Um, all I can say is this is not even close to the stock Honda seat. It is so much more comfortable. Like I say, I've been riding an hour and a half. Uh, no pain. Uh, I couldn't go more than an hour uh, on the stock seat before I had to pull over and walk around. And I, I even was using a cushion yesterday uh, on top of the seat. And even with the cushion, uh, I was lucky to be able to go more than an hour and a half. And I've already gone an hour and a half this morning with uh, the rebuilt seat and um, it's quite a difference so now I've got my modified seat I've got my Aeropegs from Rivco you can see down there and I think this bike now is ready for touring you know the three big things that the bike was missing uh, to make it a comparable touring bike to the 2012 that I got rid of was the seat, the GPS, and uh, of course it needed a good set of highway pegs. And now I've got two out of those three sorted out. Um, the GPS is something Honda will probably address. And for some of you, you don't even use the GPS, so it doesn't matter. But right now as I sit on this bike with this rebuilt seat and these highway pegs I feel like this bike is more comfortable or certainly as comfortable as my 2012 was on the highway you got to remember it's got much better suspension so it's a smoother softer ride and I've got the uh, comfortable seat so if you watch the video you'll get the whole story on uh, John and bike solutions and you'll get to see him tear into my seat 
So anyway, it's a really a pretty nice morning again. It's uh, about 78 degrees, not too much wind. Anyway, enjoying this comfortable ride on my new seat. And again, I'll remind you if you enjoy these videos, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, check out cruisemansgarage.com. And don't forget, you can always find me on the glforum.com. So, thanks again. I'm going to finish enjoying this ride and this beautiful morning in Texas. Got a little sun up coming over here. And uh, we'll see you next time on Cruise Man's Garage.